reverence to God, all the pastors, to family, each of you. Keith was my brother. Um, I don't know if many of you know, as a musician, how deep he was that he didn't just play gospel, he didn't just play funk, rhythm. Keith played everything. And I've learned so much from him. Stevie Wonder's name is Steve Land Morris. I called him Keith Land. <laughs> because he's that serious and that deep. He was our encyclopedia for the band. Name a song, keep what keys at it. Start on B flat, E flat, go to A minor. Yep. <laughs> yep. 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 He had it like that. People would come and ask, can you play a song? We all look at Keith. <laughs> Keith, you know it? If you know it, we can play it. <laughs> I would drop him off at home. We'd stop by Jack in the Box. He said, hold on, hold on. Let me take this food in right quick. Keith come back and sit in the car. I said, Keith, I'm getting sleepy. Oh, man, all right. it's all right, man, it's all right. And talk another two hours. <laughs> But I'm standing here today to say that I saw a musician when I met him that was a Christian that matured into a master Christian. I saw him transform over the years, his seriousness. He put away childish things. He changed his walk, yeah. his talk, yeah. and he became serious about the Lord. Yeah. And for that, I can smile. But I was thinking about it on Monday, and it came to me that if you have somebody that you have an odd with or trouble, call them up. Amen. If you have family and loved ones, tell them you love them. Don't wait for the next moment. Don't wait for tomorrow. Do it today. That's what I got from Keith. To tell him you love him because he was so serious about his music. And the fact that family, you know I love you. Thank you.